me, uh, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live with the phone in, and we're live on TikTok, we're live on YouTube, we're live on Twitch, and we're live on Facebook. You can't say fairer than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. Lovely to have you with us, of course, and a very, very warm welcome to our Tuesday evening pop-up. Great stuff, absolutely fantastic. And if you've just joined us, of course, then a special welcome to you, dinky do. So there we are, tremendous stuff. Can you approach culture through music, says D. Yes, you can indeed, D. You can always approach culture through music. Scotty McClure with the phone in. Welcome along this Tuesday evening. Dinky do. Hashtag float high. First lord of the internet. That's what it's all about. And come and give us your super chat. Good evening, says Glesny H. Thank you very much, John. And ah, good evening, says David Taylor. Good evening, David. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to this Tuesday night live on YouTube and Twitch and Facebook. If you're watching on the YouTube channel right now, of course, please make sure you subscribe. Very, very important. And uh, there we have it. Hey, hey, follow us as soon as you come on, TikTokers. Lovely to have you with us as well. You're part of something very, very big indeed. And that's the way we like it. There we are. It's John using Leslie account. I knew, John. Absolutely. I do understand. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi there, Scotty. It's Kareem. Ah, Kareem. Happy birthday. Thank you, Scotty. <laughs> You were first thing in the morning before everybody with a wee message, so thank you for A wee call. message just to say happy birthday. And you're obviously a very popular man. I saw they've got cake and everything at work. Uh, yes, it was a lovely at work, a lovely surprise what they done. Uh, it was a Christmas theme. Uh -huh. so they, it was all done up, well, Christmas Day and Christmas jumpers, and oh, it was just brilliant. We like, <laughs> a, we like a Christmas theme in September. It's good practice. They had they were playing Christmas songs at lunchtime and intervals, so it was really it was so funny. <laughs> I love it. Well done, sir, and, and good for you. Highly Thank respected you. man, and no wonder. Thank you. Do they know that you're an internet star? Say that again, sir. Do they know that you're an internet star? <laughs> they know iPhone Scotty to me close. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, same thing really, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Scotty. Yes, sir. Uh, your thoughts on um, the recent news about income tax going up? Yes. Um, I, I don't like this idea at all. I'm very yeah. suspicious of all of this. The country is £350 billion down the swanee. About yeah. £100 billion of that is the pandemic. Yeah. £250 billion is uh, the bill for Brexit, and that will go on rising. So they need to make that clear and say, look, guys, we've got to get the Brexit money back. We made a terrific pig's ear and dog's dinner of it, and we yeah. do need to charge you to get that back. The same way they brought in austerity when uh, the bankers made a complete and utter dog's dinner of the whole thing, and uh -huh. uh, they had to get the money back, and old ladies were selling their wedding rings to get the money for the gold to pay their electricity bill. You see, so I'm afraid I'm not terribly impressed with the whole thing. And also, you know, they, they did say in their manifesto they would never be putting the insurance up, and now they yeah. have done. If, but this is where I think I spoke last week about double standards. Yes. If that was the Scottish government, the, the, the unionists up here would want, they would want civil war, basically. They would. They'd be, they'd be looking for heads on, on platters. Yes. Yes. Nations and, but because it's down south, it's like, well, do you know what? We'll just, you know, it's we'll, we'll keep quiet about this. Yeah, but um, you see, the Scots are going to be paying for it as well, although hopefully there's talk of sending money. And I, I was very interested in the way they said directly to the health service rather than paying uh, it into the Scottish government. Well, the, the, the health service is um, it's devolved, isn't it? Yes, yes, it's totally yeah. devolved. Yes, so uh, that's the thing. I think I was reading figures on Facebook. So if they put this tax hike up, Scotland, I think, is what it would be contributing to one billion 
£250,000. Yes, to England. To England. Yes. And we would get about £230 million back. Yes, always the thing, you know, it's always the carrot and stick they give with one hand and take it away with the other. Uh, and that's what annoys me because you had earlier on our first minister uh, going through the, the, the plan what she wants to do for the next term. And obviously you would have heard about the, the referendum. Yes. Uh, uh, will be carried out any time up until the end of 2023. And what annoys me is a lot of comments if you're reading them on Facebook. And a lot of these people, we don't have money. There's no money. We should be focusing on the recovery. How are we going to fund an independent Scotland, and I just really think a lot of people really need to educate themselves. Yeah, but the way, really the way we're going to fund an independent Scotland is not sending any money to Westminster, but using Scotland's income to yeah. pay for uh, rebuilding its economy. Correct. Well, if you look, it's at, not. It's not. Think... It's not rocket science. I mean, we've been sending about seventy to seventy-five billion pounds down to Westminster. We've been getting twenty-eight back, and that's yeah. called a block grant. That's Westminster giving Scotland money. Not yeah. true. Well, if we stop giving the money and become independent, yes. If if we owed any money, then that would be over a tight period. Think of it, that extra half that would be getting back, and what we could be doing with. Every year, absolutely. But, but a lot of people don't seem to to really understand no. that or want to because well, they don't they, understand they, that Scotland has been getting robbed blind for three hundred and thirteen years, and yeah. in particular for about the last sixty, seventy years with the oil and gas. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I think there's a little bit too much, Scotty. I'm all right, Jack, until it affects them financially. Yeah. Affecting SNP to mitigate it. We'll try to vote them out at the same time. Uh, that's my phrase at the moment. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I mean, I think I think this is what's going on. But we'll see how it works out, Graham. But very, very interesting. But uh, you know, I certainly don't trust the figures at the moment until people start fronting up about Brexit. Yeah, yeah. I think the only way people we, we well the only way we're going to really figure things out is when people like I, I always think a lot up here in Scotland. We always like to learn the hard way. Yes. And I think when it starts hitting a lot more people financially, then they're going to really think, well, hang on, here a minute, this, this isn't right. We need a change. Uh, and I suppose, I don't know if Nicola's got the the, the, the timing right, she's not keeping that close to her chest. Why would you Why would you announce something to... Well, like, there's no uh, point in announcing it till we know that, uh, you know, we've got the pandemic under control, and, uh, you know, we're going to get a clear run at it. And everybody is clear what is what. So in other yeah. words, I think they need to say very clearly, take your lead from Scotland. Take your lead from Holyrood. Don't be taking your lead from Westminster. Because the last time they started telling whoppers and people started uh, believing it, frightening old yeah. age pensioners into saying you lose your pension. Absolutely. Complete and utter well. whopper. Yeah, horrible times. But mm -hmm. most of the times hopefully ahead when the campaigning starts. And I really hope a lot of people will get involved and really research and look into what the benefits, uh, because it will affect everybody if they're still under Westminster control. I really think, uh, you know, we'll be, we'll be bled dry. And remember to get your education from Scotty McClue and Kareem. <laughs> no, no, Scotty McClure, Scotty McClure. Wonderful, sir. Thanks for taking my call. A privileged talking to you and happy birthday. Thank you, Scotty. Bye now. Top Bye. man. See you, Kareem. That's our Kareem. What a fabulous fella. Right, to your telephones as quickly as possible. Now, let's get a look at everybody here on the wonderful TikTok. Anyone watching the game, says Fat Spoon. Hello, my friend. Hope you're well, buddy. God bless, says Chris. Uh, so there we are. I'm Turkish. You need to see my English. Fantastic. Long live you, Scotty. May you live for many years. Scotty, my friend, how are you? Who's been robbing Scotland? There's nothing worth taking, cooking driver. Are you completely unaware of what goes on? Hello from Oxford. We love you in Oxford. Dinky do. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello? Dinky do, Scott. Ah, Glenn, how are you? Glenn, is the football on tonight? Uh, there is, yeah, there's a small game on. Right. Anything we should be bothered about? Not really. Uh, the Tottenham army's got there. 
Right, right. So I'll, I'll rephrase again. Anything we should be bothered about? Uh, yes, Scotty Scotland. <laughs> Good man. Right. Now, what's happening with the... Yeah, uh, relaxing, Scotty. Just being... I saw you coming yesterday about the... Uh... Um, messages what come up after it's soaps have gone off. Oh, I am getting thoroughly fed up with this, Glenn. Now, for all our viewers, yeah. I'm just going to recap. Guys, this is in a soap opera. I'm not mentioning any names, and I'm not mentioning any channels, but it's a soap opera, and it starts yeah. off with uh, our next program contains scenes that may be upsetting, and it finishes right. up with, if you've been affected by any of the issues in our opera tonight, that sort of thing. They don't say opera, obviously. Now, what I was thinking, Glenn, what they need to say is, what you're about to see is a drama. It's not real. Yeah. Nobody gets yeah. hurt and nobody gets upset. Precisely. Enjoy. That's the message. For entertainment purposes. This is for entertainment purposes only. It's played by actors. Nobody gets hurt. Nobody gets upset. You know what? You know when they do these dramas, those guys? Yeah. They do research into how they're supposed to portray the role, don't they? The situation, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so they know what comes with territory of playing these roles. So. They know absolutely fine. And, and what they should say is, we've written and staged and filmed this for your enjoyment, edification Correct. and delight. Nothing, yeah. None of it's real. Don't start believing it. Because what's wrong with a lot of young people nowadays because of all these games where they're on killing people and wiping out planets, they don't know the difference between reality and what's going on. Fiction. And fiction. You know, fiction and fact. I mean, crazy they, stuff. They're getting, they're getting paid for acting, Scotty, at the end of the day. It's, it's the job. Well, the actors are good. I'm not in any way pointing the finger at the actors. Yeah, the, the actors are doing a superb job. Production to your minute at end. No, it's 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 the companies. It's, it, to, it's yeah. the companies saying we're going to put on a drama. Please don't yeah. be upset now, Glenn. If you went along to see um, Julius Caesar, right Shakespeare, yeah. right, and he gets stabbed by all the rest of them, yeah, nobody yeah. comes out and goes. If you've been affected by any of the issues that happened to Julius tonight, do ring this number. I hope you sleep pathetic. well. Scotty's pathetic, you know. You know, it's joke. It's a, uh, yeah, it's joke. It's, it's even like when, you, when, when we mentioned about when the film's going off and the announcer comes on saying, and the next film coming on. Next it's, we've got comedy. You're watching a beautiful movie, which you've got immersed in. You're sitting with a couple of tears in your eye, you know, giving it... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that would a shame what happened to him. Right, you're enjoying yeah. you're enjoying movie, you're enjoying experience. Suddenly up comes some halfway and shouts, Don't forget this comedy coming up. And you think, shut up. The old presentation just ruined it there. Yeah. Now you see, I did television presentation for years. I know it's involved. We never ever ever invaded. Mm. We just sat quietly and we would say, Now it's time for our movie, The Wild Geese. Then we came up at the end, yeah. uh, you know, and we'd just say, we'd wait till all credits had gone up. Music had stopped. We'd come up to a slide. Uh -huh. I would say, now, next, coming up next, a little bit of comedy for you. I hope you enjoyed yeah. the movie. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's yeah, not too not much to ask, Glenn. It's not rocket science, Scott. It's not rocket it's science, as I told them at my NASA interview, you know. I mean, I mean the major film companies. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, if I was the film companies, I would say to the television companies, right, you let theme tune play out and you give all credits or you don't get movie. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's what it I'd comes, say. It, come, it comes as the full package, doesn't it? Come, it comes with a package. Here's me. Can, I don't, you won't be able to see me, me mug. It comes, it comes as the full package. The beginning, all set, all set up. That's what it's all about. The old film, the old soundtracks, whatever. And Full and bit. Real, beautiful music and what that. Beautiful. And you watch the whole yeah. thing and it's great. I mean, see, I can remember when television, you know, were in its infancy and these movies, they were just breathtaking because the only way you could take in a movie was to go to pictures. Yeah. 
what we called the flicks. No, it's a tenorous, a good ass, Scott, eh? Aye, you see, it's expensive. And I tell you, apparently you don't even risk the pick and mix for the price. No, definitely not. And you can't, they want, they don't like you taking your own stuff in, your own pear drops and your, your acid blame, drops. And your, you your cola price? cubes. Can you blame them for the price of the size, though? To yeah. be honest, it's ridiculous. Do you know what I'm saying? I think... Or you can get a, like a combination, you know, popcorn and a soft drink. Do you not remember we used to go out and ice cream were quite dear. It were like a shilling. Yeah. You know, but it, it, it wasn't prohibitive and it was a right treat. Hot, hot dog was quite dear. I think they were one and six. You're not, you're not that old. Oh, are you you're kidding? Only, you're going back to archives now, Scotty, and what other people were telling you. Uh, well, hey, that will be it. Aye. Right. Now listen, I'm going to dash off. Don't you get? Do you, let me finish. Do you, do you remember when uh, they used to come into interlude uh, with ice cream on in Aye. in the shows kind of thing? She stood down the front. Yeah, I had a, I had a girlfriend who was an usherette. Yeah. And she still walks backwards. <laughs> I'm telling them. Nice one, Sky. Listen, you take great care of your son. Take it easy, Lala. See you, Lala. Did you do, Sky? Did you do? Glenn. That's our Glenn there. Kareem has sent me a beautiful Great British Pound. Kareem, you are very, very kind. And it's the full Great British Pound, Kareem. There we go. Rich and Duke has sent me beautiful, beautiful, beautiful widgets. Thank you, Sean. Even the English don't want the monarchy. Are you kidding? Cooking driver. What planet are you from? Everybody adores the monarchy. The Scots, the English, the lot. Hello, old son. God save the orange order. Well, I think God will need to save it. Has it had its day, do you think? Has orange order had its day? Are you a tough, Aidan? Don't be ridiculous. There, you never done TV, old gen. Radio Clyde was your highest. Jack, are you crazy? I was seven years with ITV as a newscaster. Go and have a quick look at the TikTok videos and see how wrong you can be. How funny is that? The roast has started. A rise in national insurance, Scotty. Good or bad? Not good at all, Garth. There we are. And we need to have a bit more fronting up. Thank you for sending me this. Why are you not watching, watching the football? Nobody's interested in football these days, Andy. It's passe, I see. Now then, what have we got here? Fantastic. Uh, back on Twitch, it's John. Good evening, Scotty, says the wonderful God and Ruddick. Dinky do, Scotty, says Dave Deprave. Get the football and mute. Get Scotty booming out, says David. Oh, says Susan Shaw. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Susan. Good evening, Scotty. Left a video at Dennis Archaeology to be here. There we are. NI increase a disgrace. You should get the money from the politicians that have made the money out the COVID. If Ireland can be free, Scotland can succeed to secure freedom. Right, Vaughan. And Ireland's been free for nigh on 100 years, hasn't it? Uh, look at what the government are doing with universal credit. It's appalling. There we go. It could be trigger points. Adam, we don't mention companies, remember? Fantastic. Uh, what have we got here? Mental health issues. We live in a snowflake society, and it will get worse. Yes, Kareem says everyone. Thank you, Susan. Much appreciated. Happy birthday to Kareem. There we are. These people are uneducated, Scotty. Correct. There we are. Right. What are we saying here? Good to see you. Thank you very much, me. You'll see in Glasgow the 18th September. God save the orange order. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. What's happening on the 18th September? Is it dying out? Are they, are they closing it down? What's happening? Tell us about it. If you know anything about the orange order, Glasgow Rangers rules, says Starman. Well, I have to say more than the hoops in the interests of balance. Even Rangers Football Club wants the bigots out. Well, I think what constitutes a bigot? What is a bigot? Do tell us. There we are. Your strawberry bonbons. Yes. There we are. What other sweets can we remember? A barley sugar. <laughs> Wonderful. Strawberry bonbons. Ordinary toffee bonbons were good. I'm content with just a pint. Well, you'll not get that at the cinema. I can't tell you. So there we are. Oops, sorry, says Adam. Not at all, Adam. Don't worry. Uh, good evening, Scotty. 
Dinky do everybody. The Orange Order are bigots, says, oh, come on. So there you are, 34,000 in Glasgow on the 18th. Watch the traffic stand still. Now, is it a good or a bad thing making the traffic stop for the Orangemen? Tell us what you think. There we go. You've got the telephone number. I don't know if there'll be 34,000. Will it not be near or 3,000 or 4,000? Is that not what you've heard? Did you get up too much today, Scotty? Oh, since he, an outstanding day today and beautiful weather. Absolutely incredible. It's what you call uh, an Indian summer. Is it a bad thing stopping the traffic? Yes. I don't think the traffic should ever have to stop for marchers. So there you are. Not a good idea. Let the traffic go. Why not put the marchers a country route across the fields and things and up the side of the canal? They shouldn't be on the main road. There we are. How do you feel about, uh, well, Adam, we're not going into anything to do with the COVID, the pandemic. It causes a stushy and uh, they don't like it on the internet companies. So we'll steer clear of that. The whole purpose of Scotty McClue is that we don't have to discuss what's being discussed for the past two years. Are you with me? Can you see the joy in a program like this? There we are. Uh, I own nothing. I'm mean, happy with just a pint. Well, none of us own anything. I mean, you'll find that when somebody says, that's Mrs. McQuackles, who's, you say, but I can remember when the Browns lived there. Stuff like that. You see what I mean? On the Queen's Highway, we'll walk the main roads. Yeah, but Jack Union, Jack, you shouldn't be allowed to walk the Queen's Highway. That's the whole problem because it's nothing to do with being orange. Right? Very, very important. So there you go. And I don't think the Queen would thank you for walking her highway. I think it's bad news. What to do is have a walk in the countryside, over the hills, a bit like um, like the um, riding of the marches in the borders. Yes, that's the stuff. So there, away up the hill, the orange walk, away over the hills to Douglas and Lanarkshire. And then you could have a wee convention. That would be quite nice, but keep off the roads, I think, because people aren't really understanding. Okay, dokie, no worries. No problem, Adam. And you're quite right to raise these things, you know, but the whole purpose of us as a phone in here is that uh, we don't talk that. We are joyful, joyful, joyful. Uh, how were your days on Century 106, an outstanding radio station? And, you know, it was... 23 years the other day since we started Century 105 in the northwest of England. What an outstanding station. I've never understood when something's highly successful why somebody comes along and ruins it. I just don't understand. Hi from Northern Ireland. Ulsterman, lovely to have you with us now. There we go. Ulsterman, are the Orangemen still walking in Northern Ireland or is it a thing of the past? I ask you. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Scotty, I've linked you to my 42-incher. Uh, oh, I see what you mean. Your television loud and clear. Is it good, Kareem? Tell us what it is. Take a wee shot and send it on to the Facebook. Guys, if you're just watching us, we're live on TikTok, Facebook. We're live on Twitch and we're live on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell. That's what it's all about, I see. Yes, they're still walking, says Ulsterman. And are they still talking, Ulsterman? Remember an old lady being interviewed said, oh, talking, talking. They'll be talking for hundreds of years. There we are, that sort of idea. Greetings, says Sagra. Sagra Jr., greetings to you. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on the phone-in. You've got the telephone number, 0141628. 9795 Feel free to give us a call. Scotty tells it like it is. Free speech. Absolutely. Come on. Do you support orange men? The wee orange men in the room? Um, no, I tend to not really be one thing or the other. I can't see. I like the sort of traditions to be upheld, but I'm not sure it's particularly healthy. And William of Orange, the, the Orange men are called after, 
was a dreadful, dreadful, dreadful lowlife of a human being. So it's a wee bit shocking that these poor souls are supporting some historical character who was an absolute embarrassment all round. Never mind, he did bring in, or his coming here did bring in an end to absolute monarchy. So the king's power was no longer absolute and it brought in constitutional monarchy, a start of democracy. So there, that's your William, William and Mary. They came over from the Orange Free State in Holland. You're a man of the Queen. So there you are, but a traitor like Lundy. What are you on about, Union Jack? Union Jack McClure is an absolute thousand percent patriot. How dare you? There we are. Better having William Wallace, men of freedom. Yes. Should there be a Wallace march? Should we have the march of the blue men? I'm a Protestant, but I'm not in the on Jordan. Most people who are in it don't even know, don't know what they are. There we are. Uh, thank you for your lovely TikToks, Disco Pete. You are very, very generous. Everybody's sending me beautiful presents. Thank you for tapping the dollar on uh, YouTube and sending me pennies. You're very, very kind. Uh, if you look up at the top right of YouTube, you can buy me a pie. It's wonderful. There we are. Uh, greetings, says Sagre. President Sturgeon, the best world leader. Yes, absolutely. Although Her Majesty the Queen is our head of state, and that will always remain the case. I was actually watching Her Majesty the Queen opening the state opening of Parliament in 1999 in Scotland. People should refresh their minds of that. Very good. The Queen was just wonderful. I was going through some bad days when I used to listen to your phone in the century 106. You made me laugh so much. And I can't thank you enough for that experience through the 90s. Adam, you are very, very welcome. It's a privilege. And it's a privilege to know you. And I feel that everybody, I've always said, the old lady up the high rise with nothing but her pension should get as fine a performance from Scotty McClure as they would see at the Carnegie Hall. So there you go. Fantastic. Yep, tied in with the New Zealand lady. Dinky do, Scotty McClure. Sarah Queen, how lovely to have you with us. What a privilege. Welcome back. So good that you are here. Everyone likes the Queen. Yes, they do. They adore the Queen. And the Scots that don't need a kick up the backside. Thank you, David. Again, dinky do. Scotty, I've sent you a video. Um, of you on my TV, on your Facebook. Karim, if you don't mind, to have permission to upload that. People will love to see that. Great fun. Yes, my brother. I had one of your videos, an audience with Scotty McClure and VHS. Gino, look after that. It'll be worth over a quid. Fantastic. That was a wonderful time. That was brought out in 1995 or 96. I think it might have been 96. It outsold Billy Connolly's videos. I remember that at the time. Pineapple chunks. Yes, of course, says David. Thank you, David. You're very, very kind. Bohemian Rhapsody, a masterpiece. God Save the Queen, Freddie Mercury. Yes, but God Save the Queen is Handel's National Anthem. Beautiful, beautiful piece of music. Quite outstanding. It says 1995 in the back. Do you know? In that case, it was 1995, and it outsold Billy Connolly. You can see, I don't know if any of you have been on Scotty McClue's website. There's a site for your beautiful eyes. Uh, well over 10 million people have been on that website. So it's a great day in for all the family. www.scotty-mcclue.com www.scotty-mcclue.com Com. Queen was the best at Live Aid. Absolutely, yes. They did all that, didn't they, for her uh, jubilee. There we are. It says 1995 in the back. That's it, Gina. Yes. We've got cough drops. Do you remember cough candy? Do you remember Russian caramels? Oh, we liked all that. Dinky do. How's everybody doing here? Fantastic. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't love the Queen. I could tell you that. Guys, if you're on TikTok, can you all follow me? Uh, folks watching the phone in, if you've got a TikTok account at 
Scotty McClue, get yourselves on there and fill your boots. I sang, not terribly well, but I sang Round Tree today. So you'll see that, and I've uploaded it. Sherbet Pips, Sherbet Dabs, Lairwick Guy. What was Sherbet Pips? What about these ones, sewer plumes, that changed your expression when you sucked them? All that stuff was going on. Cough, candy, twists, yes. Do you know that all of these things are actually just boiled sugar, uh, cooled and snipped up with a little bit of flavoring or essence in them? I used to think, what was in these sweets? But it's just boiled sugar. Tremendous. And uh, I'll tell you what to do if you're traveling on the M74 between, say, Carlisle and Glasgow, Glasgow, Carlisle. Shout out for Kareem here. Get yourselves into Moffat and go into the Moffat Toffee Shop. I hope it's all open uh, with the, the end of the pandemic. And my goodness, that special Moffat Toffee. Wonderful. There we go. Now then, and get over to the Rumbling Tum and get your lunch. Gobstoppers. Yeah, do you remember them? They were huge. World War III is coming. Do you think so? Is this a football thing sent off? 50 cent off, or what's going on? Start to spill cent off. There we are, fantastic. My dad showed me Scotty a while ago. He used to listen to the 90s. It's a great laugh listening to old conversations. Think you do, Scotty. Corey Mackay, absolutely. Is your dad still with us? Yes, indeed, fantastic. These were the days. And uh, the days of radio phone-in, huge. Very, very successful. Scotty, you need a gobstopper. Larry Guy, thank you. Very kind of you. And they were, I can remember them back at a penny, a penny gobstopper. There was a small one at a hitney. Can everybody follow us, please? Mint Imperials. My grandfather used to have them loose in his waistcoat pocket, and he brought them out and handed you one. Wonderful. I can remember that, a mint imperial. <laughs> Miller's Mint Imperials. I just got told I look mature for my age. I'm so confused, Abby. That I've been told I look mature for mine as well, so don't panic. Strange fella, you. Do you think so, Aaron? In what respect? What makes you say that? Time for a sip of tea for the boss. This is for the boss. For the boss, I say, a sip of tea. Fantastic. Uh, do you mind wham bars? When you said mind there, Gary, I thought you were saying mind wham bars. I thought it was some sweet that altered your mind. But no, do you mind? Do you remember wham bars? I do, Gary. Do you remember the penny tray? We're talking about that one. Fruit salad, Susan Shaw. How amazing. The fruit salad, lovely. Always thought the black and red tasted the best. And you could go down to yellow and green. But what about sports mixtures? Yes, they were kind of similar. Blackjacks. Remember, you could get four blackjacks for a penny. There we go. And mojos. There we are. Quita el amigo. Ah, yes, indeed. Absolutely. Gosh, you're a bore, says Lerwick Guy. Lerwick Guy, what on earth are you on about? There we are. Who are you talking to? There we go. Flumps. Yes, we liked our flumps. Fantastic. We loved our flumps. There we go. Hello, I just remembered you're on just now. Gordon Robertson, I've just remembered myself at nine o'clock and popped up. So there we are. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. What's for folks, Scotty and folks, is Kareem, whose birthday is today. We will accept happy birthday messages for Kareem. A wonderful man. Scotty, folks, what sweets would you like to see back or foods? Right, guys, let's have it. Good one, Kareem. What foods should we have back? Dinky do. It's hashtag float eye McClue. We Mac liquor arse, all sorts. We like the liquor arse. Looking very well, Scotty, mate. Absolutely, Henry, and your good self as well. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to our phone in. We're live on TikTok, YouTube. We're live on um, 
I am an engineer of boats, so a bore. I get it, Larry. Yes, a bore. Leslie used to say that he's a bore. And I would say, well, he knows about boars. That's right. Happy birthday, Kareem, says Ziggs the Wolf. Wonderful. Yes, indeed. So we're live on TikTok. We're live on Twitch. We're live on YouTube. And we're live on Facebook. Uh, do you remember the fake chewing gum sticks that were like a mouse trap and snapped your fingers off when you pulled a strip out? Angel, yes, you got these from the joke shop in Glasgow. Happy birthday, Kareem, says Gordon. Sour plums, says Eddie Doyle. Sour plums, Eddie. An ounce, two ounces of sour plums. Curly Whirly, says Kareem. Curly Whirly was a good eat. You had to just chew wee bits of it. Thank you, Scotty. Can you wish Jamie a happy 21st birthday? Oh, Maria. Oh, Maria. I can indeed. Happy birthday to Colette, says RS500 Gaz. Yes, happy birthday, Colette. How wonderful is that? And a big happy birthday to our Kareem. How good is that? Guys, can everybody share this? I can't because I'm live on every device right now, but it's wonderful. Uh, Maria Knight has joined us on TikTok. Maria, lovely to have you with us. And again, a huge thank you for all your kindness and generosity over all the years. You must have spent a fortune on McClue. Susan Shaw, Spring Onion Crisps, I miss them. Yes, I was happy when they brought back the Whisper Bar. Very nice. Anybody remember the Cadbury's Fleek? And anybody remember the, um, now what was the other one called? The Ripple. Yes, it was supposed to be like a chocolate flake, but you can't beat a Cadbury's flake. You had to watch you didn't lose it. And the Kit Kat, do you know the Kit Kat was invented in 1936? Who told me that? I'll tell you exactly who it was. It was Roald Dahl, the author. Yes, he said, that's what you should be learning in schools. When the chocolate bars came out, never mind the history of the kings and queens. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Uh, hello, Scotland won against Austria 1-0. Just Chris, I'm delighted to hear that. The results are in Scotland. Do you mind a cabana chalk bar and coconut in it? I do. Do you remember a bounty? People used to say, that smells of coconut. And you'd say, well, it's bounty. There we go. That was the weed joke. Odd fellas. Kings odd fellas. Now, tell you what I loved about them. You could suck them for a good long time. And then they just suddenly collapsed into powder. The King's Odd Fellas, they, they were lovely. They had a kind of a sort of aniseed type taste. Am I right? Do you remember aniseed balls? Yes, indeed. Not a condition. I know a very rude joke about Kit Kats, but Gordon Robertson, you know a rude joke about a lot of things, but you're not going to be telling it. There we go. Very, very good. Me too, Eddie. Fantastic. Scotty, do you remember mint chew sweets called Pacers? Yes, Eddie, I do. Now, do you remember ones that they were almost opal fruity mints? Were they opal mints, I think? Yes. And they were very, very good. Do you remember Mintos? Mintos, that's not a condition. Happy birthday. Excellent to collect. Yes, we said. Crisps, oh crisps, what flavour of crisp? Stay five minutes from the original King's Sweetie Works. Is that right? Where were they? Yes, because I know Buchanan's were near to where my mother lived. They were tremendous. Woo! Do you remember Fuller's Lollipops? There we are. Marathon now, Snickers, yes. Well, it spoiled my joke, though, because somebody once said, we're collecting money for charity. Do you think, Scotty, you could manage a half marathon? I said, I could eat the whole bar. There we are. But it's not so funny now with if you just use the term Snickers. So there they are. The liquor uh, salt all sorts. Yes, liquor arse all sorts. Fantastic. There we are. Uh, great result for Scotland tonight. Away to Austria, yes. Alstom and I like Austrich, Österreich. Österreich, nicht Deutsch, ich spreche nicht bin ein Ausländer. Ich verstehe. Were any Scots over in Austria supporting them? Poppets, yes, the Paines Poppets. Now, they also did a mint one. 
I don't think it was mint puppets. Were they mintos? No, they were chocolate mints. You could get them a little oblong packet. And you opened up a little corner and shook one out. You said, would you like a puppet? Boom. And you could actually get a big box at Christmas. Everything was in a big box. Sorry, Mintola. Mint oh, the Mintolas. Now, they were, were they not mint munchies? And the square darkish chocolate melted in your mouth and they had the mint fondant inside. White Maltesers, wow! What part of Scotland are you from, says Ulsterman? I'm from the west coast, Ulsterman. There you go, not far from yourselves. Fantastic, the asteroids. I was just telling somebody today, when I was a wee boy, the ship, Buns and Laid Lines, I think it was, with, did they have the Royal Ulsterman? I used to see it a Thursday night, going out to Belfast with people from Glasgow going home for the weekend. Amazing. The chat's frustrating me. So many things I'm wanting to eat. Fries cream, says Eddie. What's that, Eddie? Eddie's right into this. I'm in Tola Bar. Munchies, yeah. The munchies were the square ones with toffee and biscuit. Am I correct? Fantastic. Milk bottle, says Sigs the Wolf. King Street, Wishaw was King Street. Well, so it was. It's all coming back to me. The King's Odd Fellows in the blue, light blue and navy blue striped bag. And it was quite a big bag. And were they not about one and threepence or one and sixpence in the old days? There were Fry's Five Center. Mazod. How did they manage to get it like that? Fry's Chocolate Cream. Does anybody remember Fry's Five Boys? They're sort of sad faces. There were five young lads with funny expressions. Well, they weren't so funny, they were serious. Cola bottles, I love a munchie, says Jerry Nickel. Jerry, do you still love a munchie? Can you still get all these sweets? Tremendous. Five fries, cream bars, nugget, mint, and that. Was there not also a fries, fruit, chocolate? We had that one. There we are. Who said fries five center? Now, was the five center not fruity? It was pink and yellow. And uh, what else did we have? I remember pink and yellow. Was there a green center for the five centers? Tremendous. The, the, the temptation was to eat too much of it. So chocolate really needs to be just taken a little bit. Rhubarb and custard. Yes, David Taylor. A rhubarb and custard. Um, solid sweet, a boiled sweet that you could soak. You could pop it in your gobble and soak. Gob's a polite word, by the way, guys. A Texan chew bar. Stephen, absolutely. I've got such a sweet tooth, says Angel, trying to avoid the sweeties. And this ain't helping. Toffee, says Susan. Do you know the best toffee I ever tasted was a tin Everything used to be in tins. Now it's in plastic boxes. A tin of Thornton's toffee. And you also got tailors of Harrogate. Did they do toffee? Are they teas? They might be teas. Uh, and it's, it's Harrogate toffee. I remember that. Dinky do. Sure plums. Yes, the sure plums. What about pear drops? Pineapple chunks? Cola cubes? Ah, oh, yes, now you're talking. I love haggis, says Alsterman. You seem very nice, says Hugo. Thank you, Hugo. Cherry lips, yes. Now, they were tiny, and they were quite, they were very sweet, almost aromatic cherry lips. I love them. My Grammy used to eat fries, chocolate bars on a piece away, Callum. Everybody gala was, Scotty. A shout out for Julie. Regards, Gaz. Gaz, of course. Body Galawa. Fantastic. Dumfries. Dumfries is where I'll stay. When touring Scotland, you must come this way. Remember that? Just chilling out with your life after a long day at what? Lauren, Princess 22. You are very, very welcome to chill. Caramac. Wow. Yes, it was. I can remember saying somebody arrived 
in a caramac colored Daimler because it had a very sort of unusual color. It was a um, a very light brown, the caramac. Uh, Neil, there's a caramac barn now and Cadbury's just out. Caramac, amazing, fantastic. We loved Cadbury's. I liked the flake. The flake was very old. It had been out a long time, I'm sure of it. You used to get models to advertise it. Peanut brittle. What about a peanut picnic? Anybody remember that? The shop down the road for me still sells all the old sweets. I love it, Ulsterman. Used to be a lovely one. I hope it's still there in the front at large. Palma Violets. Is it not Parma Violets? Zig. Yes, they were little violet sweeties that made your breath smell of violets. Sweet violets. How are you, says Laura? We're fabulous. Marathons. There we are. Tremendous. Welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're live on Scotty McClue's phone in. You can actually phone me, guys, if you want. The number's there, 0141628-9795. 0141628-9795. God and Robertson, you haven't rung yet. Cancel the shout-out to Julie. I found out she cheated on me. Gaza, we didn't give out her second name. So there we go. Why would anybody cheat on you? Come on. Julie certainly wouldn't, I'm sure. Loved when you finished a flake, you know, the crumbs at the bottom of the pork. Yeah, but you had to watch because the pork was yellow cellophane. And what I used to do is tip it in like that. Wonderful stuff. There we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Eddie Boy. How are you? Eddie Boy. What a joy to hear from oh, you. Eddie, Doyle, whatever. Eddie, are you enjoying the phone in? It very much, Scotty. Listen, I, I think I don't know if you would agree with me, but I think I mean, like the YouTube live, TikTok live, Facebook live has been a success, right? Yes. But I think it'd be more of it. I think it's going to be more of success. I think it's going to take off when you have the phone-ins. I've been able to speak to you in person. You know? I'm so glad to hear you saying this, Eddie, because when I did the YouTube, people got frustrated because all they had was the chat. Now, yeah. we've got slight rules for the phone in, like we tend not to do second names. I mean, it's all right in the likes of your own case and Kareem and Gordon and all these yeah. guys, but we tend not yeah. to do second names because you don't know what somebody's going to say and we don't want anything said. We tend not yeah. to do businesses. I mean, we're talking sweets tonight, but that's a very harmless, uh, you know, and, and things like that. So there's, there's the rules of that. We don't swear, not that you ever would do that. Uh, but no, we don't do no, these things, no, Eddie. No. And apart from that, there are no rules. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, I mean, and, and I think it's a great way for us to get out there. There's nobody else doing it to any great extent. You know, there's one yeah, big well, phone it's in. Same, it's the same for the radio, Scott, isn't it? I mean, I remember years ago on the radio, if anybody ever come on to the, the radio station that swore, you just cut them off right away. Straight away. Doing the swanee and very yeah. often banned them, cancelled their phone line a lot. Yeah. You know, and, and, and they never got on again. But it was so busy in those days, you wouldn't have got on again anyway. Because I remember yeah. one of the funniest calls, we were just taking call after call after call after call. And one night this uh, guy comes on, he goes, hi, Scotty, my name's John. I said, thanks for letting us know, John, appreciate it. Thanks for that. And I and cut him off and on to the next one. Mary, you see, anyway, oh, two so hours. Even if, if, so, sorry, Scotty, sorry, I hope I wasn't putting in my No, mind. no, no, button. But, um, so, what, what you're saying, now I thought, right, as the old, as the old, um, as an old saying in Glasgow, you don't drop names, right? Aye. But, you, right, so you were saying about people with their own names and stuff, so does that go for someone who, themselves is saying their own name and uh, no not that really if they video. want to say their own name but i'd rather they didn't say their name because say somebody came on and said hi scotty my name's john mcwackle i'm really really suffering from my wife's cruelty then anybody ah. with a phone directory can go oh wait a minute here right now it yeah, could be a wind up as well it could be all that, but it could cause problems with agencies saying, do you have the number for the person who's suffering the cruelty? So, you see, that sort of thing just isn't funny at all. But if yeah. somebody comes on and discusses it and goes, my name is John, it might not be their name. 
uh, you know, well, uh, but if yeah, they but say that, then they can discuss anything. Well, it's, it's not just that. I mean, if someone gives their full name and says, hello, I'm, my name's Joe Bloggs, then you maybe get a call and say, oh, I know that Joe Bloggs, Scotty, he's this. Ah, he's this, this, that, and the that, next thing. Whatever. But you see, this guy said, uh, Scotty, my name's John, I said, thanks for that. Went on to the next call, I says, Mary, two hours later, his wife managed to get through to say, Scotty, my husband rang, and all he got to say was, my name's John. I said, I thought that's what he was ringing to tell us. So we had a lot of fun because it was call after call after call. And I think this could be the yeah. same. Yeah. yeah. You see, you see, there are there are major radio talk shows that hardly get any telephone calls. Now they're sitting tearing their hair out, and their presenter, who might be a well known name, a household name, is tearing their yeah. hair out because he's saying, Give us a call on that. Right? And nobody yeah. calls. Now, I popped up on the internet, and we, we we could barely get peace from the calls. Now, what that tells you is that people know they can talk to Scotty McClue. Why would they phone some famous person? Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying, Jerry? If I again, said to again, you again, just again. now, say, for instance, yeah. somebody said, I don't know, um, the Prime Minister's taking calls live on a radio station. Would you actually swear to God phone him? No. No. I, I wouldn't take that as gospel. And most people wouldn't phone him. And the other thing is when they phoned would him, you, they would Scotty? screen the calls. Would you? No. Would, and why, why not? Because... He's the Prime Minister. He's too important for me to phone. But you can phone Scotty McClure. Oh, and you can get a bit of banter. And it doesn't matter how big or how small the station. I've now been probably on virtually every local radio station in the country. I've right. been, I've been, companies have very kindly, and I've been very honoured and privileged, put their stations together, the ones they owned, to get McClure out there because... The public love it. You were also a news broadcaster, weren't you? Yes, I used to read the news on yeah. ITV. I've I seen some of the videos on uh, on YouTube. Yep, yep. You've the... been about Scotty Boy. Oh, about... we've been about, and we've got a lot more to be doing. Yes. I mean, the, the... the time to do it, as Scotty would say. Well, when people say to me, there's lots of time, uh, you, you know, when people say to me, um, Oh, you're very famous. You're very well known. At least you made it. I say, no, I haven't even scratched the surface yet. The surface, yeah, yeah. Not I at all, Eddie. Totally I'll have made it when I can look at these figures and see them into hundreds and thousands. Yeah. 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 And I'll I'll have made it when everybody goes, never mind radio, never mind television, never mind news companies. Get on the internet and speak to Scotty McClure. Scotty, I know some people that that, that not eat, they've, they've not even got television. They still listen to the tranny or the wireless. Yes. And they don't have a TV in their house. I said to somebody very, very high up in the radio industry, I said, let me ask you a question. I said, do you think if I went on tonight, the audience would return? And he looked at me and went, instant. That again, Scotty? I said to a guy, if I went back on the radio tonight, a big station, do yep. you think the audience would return? And he Definitely. said, instant. De Definitely, Scotty. I, I totally agree with you there. Nothing's changed. All this rubbish Definitely. about, oh, everything's changed. The world's changed. Radio's changed. No, it has not. If I went on, say I went on all the BBC local radio stations tonight, the audience yeah. would be through the roof. Definitely. Oh, definitely. You know. They would, they would come in and they would come in and drones, man. Aye. And drones, definitely, Scotty. And I don't understand it because when McClue's on, the companies can wheelbarrow the money away. I, I definitely think, that, I mean, it's not as if, 
I mean, this, this is a good. This is a thing I like about you, Scott. You, I mean, when you were on the radio station, you didn't. You weren't someone who's just doing it for the money. No, you were someone who was there for the people. I and love that's, that's the people. Counts. That's why I'm still doing it. You know, I mean, I've I've been for years doing the internet, maybe not making a bean, but that doesn't matter because it's to get the people together because particularly with the pandemic, Eddie, people yep. are down and they're intrinsically down because the news has depressed them. The, the, they've lost loved ones. They're being yep. kept in their houses. They're not allowed to do things. People that valued their fitness can't go to gyms, all these kind of things. And what I'm saying is, let's all get together on the internet and just have a, a laugh, have a bit of fun. Nothing heavy, nothing serious, nothing that's going to give people a heart attack, nothing that's going to worry officialdom. Just let's get on and have a laugh. And you know, do you know the, do you know the thing, Scotty? This is what I also like about the phone and and the, the, the chat it's good clean fun yes there's nothing nothing derogatory we don't need to it. swear we don't need to no. talk about you know your backside or your drawers or anything yeah you yeah. know we don't yeah. you see there's no need for that i mean today i put up just a wee joke and uh, you know a guy said oh come on scotty you can do better than that and i said of course yeah <laughs> you yeah. see because eddie you can't be just a smile. You don't I'm need to get a belly laugh. You just, you just can't be a good old bit of banter. A, a bit of banter. I remember a friend saying to me, I stopped him at his work and told him a joke. And he said, I think you were put on this earth to waste people's time. Who said that? A friend, so, so called. All right. He was walking about, and that's what he came out with. I said he stops you and tells you these jokes, and I thought no, but it's made him laugh. Yeah, yeah. you see, it's made him yeah. laugh. I That's mean, I heard a beauty the other day. A guy says, you know, a, a guy in the army said this is called an alphabet grenade. I said, why is yeah. it called an alphabet grenade? He said, well, if it goes off, it could spell disaster. The alphabet grenade, I've never heard of that If it goes off, it could spell disaster. <laughs> oh, Scotty, you're a character. I, I love it. You know, I just love nonsense <laughs> like that. <laughs> I mean, you remember that. I Why is it from... called an alphabet grenade? You walk straight into that one. Because if it goes off, it could spell disaster. Scotty, can I ask you a question before I go? Of course you can. Right. What do you think of Paddy's market closing down? Very sorry about all these things. See, that, these that, things that, have been going for hundreds of years. Scotty, go on. That was there for like 200 years. 200 years. Started by the Irish people because a lot of them arrived and they had nothing, absolutely nothing from the famine, and they sold the shots off their back or gave them away to somebody more needy than themselves. And that's yeah, where you yeah. got the saying, he'd give you the shot off his back. The shot off your back, yeah, definitely. You see? And that's yeah. where, it, and that was the start of the likes of your Paddy's Market. The Irish folk who had no money, nothing, but a bit of banter, something to sell, something to swap, get something to wear. Feed the wains. Yeah. Feed the wains because Michael had stolen Trevelyan's corn. Do, do you remember the brigade? Yes, the brigade. And of course, I love yeah. the barras. Yes. See, the, bar, the barras are the same now, Scotty. It's no hustle and bustle. No. Getting stalls and selling stuff. It's, it's like a ghost town, man. Absolutely. Eddie, I'm going to have to dash. We're out of time for the phone in. Okay, my friend Scott. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Always a joy I and a privilege. I hope all the listeners have been patient with me. They <laughs> love you. Hey, and dinky do. Ta-ra-la. Ta-ra. 
Folks, we're out of time for the phone in. We'll carry on a little bit on TikTok. Get all your messages. Thanks for joining us. Good night. God bless. Thank you do. And ta-da, lads. <laughs>